Hello, this is Irv. In this video, I will show you how to put text along the edge of a circle as shown in this example. I'm new to GIMP and I'm using it to create the product label shown here. There are a lot of good videos on this topic, but I still got stuck a bunch of times. So now that I've figured it out, I'm going to share it in a very detailed way to help anyone who gets stuck like I did. First, it seems that GIMP may not be the best tool for this task and that Inkscape might be a lot better. However, I'm learning GIMP and this is one of the harder things to do, so it is a good learning experience. If you look at this example, you can learn a lot about how GIMP puts text along a path such as the edge of a circle. GIMP is not actually moving text to this position, but instead is simply painting an image of the text on the edge of the circle. After it is painted, you cannot edit it as text. Therefore, you could not change the font or size as you normally do with text. Understanding this will make it easier to see why this procedure is so complicated. Let's take a quick look at this uh, example. And you can see from here we have text wrapped around the top and text wrapped around the bottom edges of the circle. And then we have text in the middle. You can see the text in the middle, uh, which is this one, has a T next to it uh, on the layer. And that means it's a text layer. Uh, however, if we looked on the text on the top, you just see it's just a regular layer. And that means that that text is really just painted there. You can't select it like text and change the fonts and so on. You know, you have to treat it like any other uh, painted image. And the same as the bottom. In my case, my final label will be three inches in diameter. However, I'm creating a much larger image that I will later reduce to print on a three inch circle. I found that this is required for clean looking resolution of the final product. So let's get started. We'll erase anything that we have on the screen and we'll start a new image with file and new. And I'm going to use the 800 by 600 and accept the defaults, which is going to give me a white background. First, we're going to add uh, horizontal and vertical guidelines. We do that by going to the image, come down to guides, and then select the new guide by percent. Now, sometimes you have to go to the very bottom of your screen and click on the icon because it gets hidden. Uh, we're going to first do a horizontal one at 50%, and then we'll try again. We'll click image, guides, new guides by percent, and again it gets hidden so I have to click at the very bottom of my screen and this time we'll set it to vertical. Now those guides will be needed to position our circles right in the middle of the screen. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we have the path uh, dockable enabled. So click on Windows, go to dockable dialogs and click paths. That'll make sure that it's over here on the right and we'll be using the paths and the layers. We now have one layer that is named background. We'll draw a big circle on it and fill it with a light gray, which will define our round label, but this step is optional. So we'll choose ellipse. We'll put our crosshairs right in the middle of the screen and then hold down the mouse key. And now I'll hold down the control and shift keys and as we go up, that will cause a circle to draw and it will be centered in the middle. So we get up all the way to the top. My uh, y-axis goes to zero and that's where I want it. Once we have it at zero, we just let go of the mouse first and then the keys second. Now we just want to fill this with a light gray. So we're going to come over and change our background color to a light gray. And then we're going to do our fill and fill it. Now we will create a new layer to hold the curved text and we'll call it the top text layer. 
So come over to Layers, come down to New Layer, and we're just going to say, call it Top Text Layer. And it will be a transparent background, which is what we want. Click OK. Next, we're going to create a path so GIMP will know exactly where to place the curved text. We do this by making a GIMP selection of a circle. GIMP will center the text on this circle, so we will indent it uh, about 20 points from the edge to make room for the text. So let's create our circle. We'll, we'll um, choose the ellipse. Again, go to the center with our crosshairs, and then hold down the mouse key, then hold Control shift and I'm going to come up until my y-axis says 20 pixels. And then I let go of the mouse first, let go of the keys second. Then we go to the path dialog. And at the bottom of the path dialog, we're going to find this one that has the dots over it, which is selection to path. Now when we click that, it's going to take that circle selection and create a new path layer. Uh, which is right here. And that's what we'll use to, uh, for positioning the text. Now we need to create some text and then copy it onto the circular path selection. This is the hardest part to understand because we are not actually moving the original text but just creating a detailed outline of it and then filling that with the foreground color. We'll create Now we'll create the text for the top of the circle. We'll Make sure we're on layers. I want to go set my foreground color to black because the text will pick that color up. So I'm going to go to the A for the text. Now we can put this text anywhere on the screen. And we're just going to call it uh, text for top of screen. Uh, now uh, we want to make sure that this text is going to be the right font and size uh, for our final uh, image. The reason is it's really not, you really can't change this once you've put it along the path because it's not copying text there, it's just copying or it's creating an image there, which is then cannot, you cannot change fonts and sizes very easily, if at all. So now we have our text, let's make it right around that size. So now we want to uh, come over to the text that we just created and highlight that layer, right click on it, and now we're going to put it along the path, text along the path. And what that will do is take a copy of this and just create an outline for it and put, and put it on the uh, path. So it puts it on this path over here, and that's where it is. Now, over here, on, we can get rid of this text. We won't really need that top text for the screen, so I'm just going to totally get rid of that text for top of screen. I'm just going to delete it because I don't need that. Next, let's be sure that our foreground color is correct, which it is. And then we want to select the layer we're going to be putting this text onto, or this image, so that's the top layer. Then let's go over to the path dialog and we're going to come down and find the uh, this red square icon which says path to selection now that's red text is is the path so we highlight it make sure it's uh, selected which we can tell it's selected now because it turned a little bit uh, black now what we want to do is come over and stroke black into it. So we're going to come over to by the next to the uh, trash can and click on that. That'll bring up a uh, thing to stroke uh, black onto it. We'll accept the default. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now it actually put the black on there. And if we shut this off, and if we come over to our select and shut off all selections, we'll see that we just created this nice clean text. So now we'll come back over to our layers and we can select our top layer. 
And now we're going to rotate that into position. So we'll come over to the rotate icon, click that. Now just, uh, it's a good thing to note that under this transforms that what we're set for is the layer. So we're rotating the layer, we're not rotating the path. So what we'll do is just come down and click that and it'll let us rotate it. So go ahead and rotate it and click rotate. Now to line this up it's helpful to come down with a uh, guide, guide line, just go to the top and pull it down and just split the difference and then come back over to rotate, click again and this time you can bring it back a little, rotate it and that looks pretty good. To get rid of that guideline, you can click up here on Move, come down, make sure this is set to Pick Layer or Guide. Then when you get over that, it turns red and you can drag it off. So we've actually created the top uh, text along the circle. So that's actually done. Now we're going to go ahead and create the bottom text. For the bottom text, we'll create a new layer and we'll just call it uh, Bottom Text Layer. We also need to create the new text for the bottom, so we'll create that. We'll just anywhere we want it, doesn't matter. Put it down here. Again, you want to get your uh, fonts and everything set up just the way you want them. Now, I th I think the best thing to do is come over to the to these uh, paths and get rid of this one up top because we don't need that anymore. And now we're going to be, uh, this selection we want set because we want to wrap around that. Uh, but the problem is that that is still has to be flipped because otherwise our text will be upside down. So the way to do that is click on that selection, come over here to your flip icon, click that. And then a real tricky thing is remember to come down to affect the path and not the layers. So now we come over here and we want to click this once. I'm not sure there's any indication that it's flipped, but it just did flip. So now we can go back over to the layers, take the text for the bottom, and right click on that, and we put that along the path. And there it is, it goes up along that circular path. Now we can uh, shut off the other one. So now what we want to do is go over to the paths and now we have a new path which is this one which is the uh, outline of the text. It's not actually anything in there, it's just the outline. So we now come down to our square red box which will select that. It, that will make the path into a GIMP selection which it did. You can see the highlighting. Now we, we come down, it's still selected and we'll come down to the paint along the path icon which will let us do a stroke of uh, six pixels or whatever you want. We'll do the stroke. Ah, but it did not work. And the reason is we forgot to select the bottom text layer. So let's try that. Now let's come back again, highlight that, make sure it's selected, and now let's stroke it. And that's better. Now if we shut this off, we can see the text there, and if we come all the way over here to select and shut all selections off, you can now see text for the bottom of the screen. We can now get rid of this one, we don't want that one down there, text for bottom of screen, let's just get rid of that. And let's go ahead and let's, uh, bottom of the screen, let's rotate that, so we can gr grab that there, come over to the rotate tool and just bring it right around to rotate it. And again we could grab a guide and bring it down so we get a nice alignment. We might want to split the difference there. Then do another rotate and bring the T up right to the, so it touches. Okay, so now to get rid of that uh, guide, we can click Move, uh, Pick Layer, 
or guide. Once it turns red, we can zoom it up here. Now we could, of course, turn the top one on. So now we're done, really. At this point, you could add more text by just coming in, let's say, come in here and just say, you know, here, here is real text. And the reason I'm saying that is because that is text. And, and as we, here is real text, you can see it's got a T in there. So that is real text. And I can always go in and uh, change it just by coming to it like this. And I can say, hey, I want to make that bigger or a different font, you know, whatever we want to do. Uh, but we cannot do that with these up here because, as you see, these are not really text. They are now graphics. This one is text. These are not. Uh, if I start typing here, it's just going to put a new text right on top of that. Whereas if I come in here, you can see that it highlights that. So that's how we draw on the edge of uh, circles. And, uh, and in paths, I hope it was helpful. Thank you and have a great day.